Hi, I'm Michelle with Phoenix Flow Art. If you're new to my channel or you visited this channel several times before to watch the content, but you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. If you are a subscriber, please leave a comment below. So today I'm going to do a um, balloon kiss. This is my first time doing a balloon kiss. Um, so <laughs> it gets better as it goes. Let's just put it that way. So right here, I am putting out my base coat. My base coat is, um, I added a little uh, yellow ochre to my base coat. Um, so I'm spreading my base coat. When you're doing a balloon kiss, your base coat should be thin. I found this out the hard way. My base coat is thick. Now it ended up working out okay. However, it was more challenging because my base coat was so thick. So, point one, you do a thin base coat when doing a balloon kiss. I'm tipping off all the excess paint. And I actually put my paint in a syringe to make it more manageable or um, basically to make it easier to, to get the paint exactly where I wanted it to be. So my colors are uh, dioxazine, purple. I used uh, ultramarine blue. I used a neon pink, and I used a uh, greenish yellow. So I started out putting dots of color on, and then I started putting rings around the dots because I didn't want them all to look the same or just have all the color in the center. So I wanted the color to spread out a little bit more. get my balloon push my blue down evenly on the color and it doesn't do what I want it to do hmm so I wipe off the excess paint try it again this time I kind of swirl the balloon not exactly try it again now I turn the balloon and twirl it a little better. So like I said, this was a process, <laughs> but it gets better as I go. And every t I initially start wiping off the balloon so I can get the excess paint off the balloon, but it's just a mess. After a while, I stopped doing that. Again, I believe initially the problem was my paint was too thick. Because the paint was swallowing up the colors. I initially thought, this is going to be really bad and I should start over. But I kept going. That's what these are, trials. And I'm glad I did. Then I get fancy. I stop doing circles, make dots, make stars with my colors. Just have started having fun with it. So that's really the process. Put your colors down, take your balloon, press evenly and hard on the on the colors and lift up. 
So I'll let you watch the rest of the video, see what happens. Phoenix float art, creating is what we do.